Thank you, AFI, for this phenomenal honor. Shout out to my AFI alumni up there. <clears throat> I'm humbled to be on this stage and even more so in this room. Please bear with me because I'm a director and my forte is definitely behind the camera and not on stage. It's incredible to be seen, to be acknowledged, and my work valued. As an artist, my mission has always been to create change in the world, to give voice to the unheard, to challenge ideas, visuals, and thoughts while simultaneously entertaining and painting with a much more colorful brush than this industry is used to. As black women, we are taught you have to work harder, be better, be louder, and braver in order to be successful. It's the reason my black mother pushed me so hard. I was at NYU at the time studying film, being influenced by the likes of Kurosawa, Spike Lee, Godard, and Julie Dash. But I grew up an MTV baby and always wanted to start by directing videos. I had just PA'd my first video for Trina's Pull Over That Ass Too Fat. <laughs> so of course I thought I was doing big things <laughs> and my career was off to a pretty successful start. As I was nearing graduation, my mother pushed me to get my master's degree. I remember we fought about it. I thought I was ready to take on the world. But as black mothers are conditioned to know, in this world, their daughters always have to be better. They have to know better. And so she won that fight, as she always does. And the next fall, I was getting my ass kicked at AFI. I was the only black woman in my program, though at that point, I was used to being the only black woman in most spaces. It was an incredible learning experience where I was able to hone my skills as a visual storyteller, move to LA, and prepare myself for what was to come. In an industry where people like me are so often the only one, where we have to fight daily to have a voice, the only other ones are the people I owe my career to. They taught me how to stop fighting, how to get into spaces, but rather how to create your own space, how to lead, and how the culture will support you and they will recognize and honor black craft because our lives depend on it. My first true foray into directing was more than 10 years ago with my first sister, Beyonce. She truly influenced my career. She taught me how to work, how to dream, and how to achieve. And most importantly, as an artist, how to take control of your own narrative. Without her, I'm not the same voice, I'm not the same creator, and I'm definitely not the same filmmaker. My work in videos led me to another sister. I met Issa Rae when I was pitching on the pilot for Insecure. For once, I was not other. We created a new norm together. I realized how comfortable I had become being an outsider, and for the first time, we were the colonizers. <laughs> we ungentrified that space. <laughs> she taught me how to speak your own language with no interpreter, with no apology, and most importantly, how to make room for the next one. How to kick down the door and make sure it stays open. How to support new talent of color and create a platform where we can all thrive which led me to the next sister, Lena Waithe. She entrusted me with her story and the first time in history we saw a black lesbian come out on television in Master of None. I nurtured, developed, and visualized that moment so careful not to make a false move. From that relationship we developed and just shot our first feature, Queen and Slim. <laughs> whose edit I left today to come here. <laughs> it's the story of how black love and unity is our greatest weapon against oppression. Lena has taught me how to trust. How to, as an artist, you have to trust your instincts. You must stay true to yourself and your vision. Being specific is what makes you impactful. She taught me how to trust my own voice. So I'm here. Thanks to AFI for my formal education and thanks to my sisters. Working hard, dreaming, achieving, creating new spaces and platforms while speaking my own ling language and not giving a fuck who can understand it. <laughs> because that's what Wikipedia is for, and better yet, Urban Dictionary. <laughs> Thank you guys for seeing me.